All right, guys, welcome to our tips 52. And in this tip, we're going to make an awesome report using this package called model down, which allows us to explore our models. And it's part of this thing called explainable machine learning. So how do you explain your models outputs? So this is really cool. Let me show you what we're going to make. So if you check this out, we're going to be uh, doing a churn analysis and we're going to see that uh, tenure. One of the, the in things that pop out of this of the report so we're going to see that when tenure is very low, our churn uh, probability, our average prediction increases uh, substantially. Same thing with month to month contracts and so on. So this is going to allow us to explain. So let's see how to make this report. All right. So I'm in my R code here. And what you want to do, if you haven't done so already, you want to sign up for the weekly R tips. I have the link here. It's also in the video notes. What you're going to do is you're going to sign up. You're going to do um, get your uh, R tips all set up. You're going to do a git pull. That's going to pull in the latest code. And what we're going to be doing is working out of the 052 model down folder in this 052 model down R file. All right. So uh, the libraries that we're going to be working with today, we're going to be working with tidyverse, janitor, tidy models, Dalex, and model down. So I'm just going to do control enter and I'm going to run all of these. And then next, what well, we're actually going to pull in the churn data from the 051 survival plots R tip. So that was the previous one. I'm going to just run this code and it's going to pull in some data that looks like this, where we've got a customer ID, their tenure, their contract, what they're enrolled in, their gender, and then whether or not they churn. Okay. Um, next thing, we're going to do some modeling. So this is going to be using the tidy models toolkit. So I'm going to first create a recipe here real quick. And what this is going to do is create a pre-processing pre -processing recipe where we're going to remove the customer ID and we're going to convert any of these features that are factors into um, uh, dummies. All right, so this is what it looks like once we pre-processed it. We now have our churn is still a factor, which is our target, but everything else is either double, uh, it's all double, these have been dummied, and so on. Next, we're going to create a random forest model, which is traditionally a black box model. And this is very tough to explain, uh, but it usually gives us pretty high accuracy. So we're going to then create a workflow here. So when I do this, um, I'm going to be adding the recipe, the model, and then fitting it to our data. And that's going to create this workflow fit object. It should complete relatively quickly. And then once we have fit it, we can run the predict function on it. Now I want to show you when I run predict, it gives us this predicted class, yes or no, but we actually want the probabilities. So we're going to modify this predict function, give it a type of prob. And when I do that, it gives us the class probability. Um, just think of this like the probability that it's likely to be a yes or a no. And we want to focus on the yeses. So we're going to pull out uh, the two. And what this does is it pulls out all of those probabilities. The reason I wanted to show you that is because when we go to create our explainable AI report, we need to know how to pull out those probabilities because this is going to be using this thing called Dalex, uh, which is what model down uses uh, to make the report. So we need to do this thing called explainable um, machine learning. So what we're going to do here is we're going to run this function predict fun. And we're just going to take this piece right here. And instead we're going to swap out the model with a, a function call to a model and the new data. Um, we're going to swap that out with new data, but it's going to have type prob and pool two. That's going to be our prediction function. We can test it out here on line 57 and we can see that it's when I give it the, the head of the customer churn data, it makes those predictions for me. And then what we do is we create an explainer. So, We'll use just this explain function right here. And when I do that, um, we've provided the model, the data minus the uh, target column. Then we provided as numeric the um, customer churn uh, values and then the prediction function and we give it a label and it creates an explainer for us. With that explainer in hand, what we're able to do is run model down. So you just give it the explainer or you can give it multiple explainers. And I'm going to tell it which modules I want it to run just to save on time. We're going to be doing variable importance and variable response, but there's several other modules. Okay, so what this is doing is it's putting in our output folder here. I've directed it to the 052 model down output. It's creating this folder here and it's actually updating all of this information in here. Um, it's 
takes a minute or so to run, so we'll reconvene once it's ready, and I'll show you what happened. All right, so it's done, and if I go over here, I now have this index.html. It's in this output folder. So if you view that as the uh, view in the web browser, we now have our model down report. Uh, the first page is just kind of a summary uh, where you can actually download your random forest explainer, um, check out some of the data. This is pretty long here. Um, so we'll, we'll skip that. Let's get to the results, the variable importance. One of the most important things that Dalex allows us to do is understand variable importance. So we want to know what relates to churn. And we can see that the contract and the tenure are big time the, uh, the, the most important features. Gender has a little bit of importance and customer ID has almost no bearing whatsoever. Um, okay, so that's what we get out of the variable importance. Again, this is a very big insight. Next, we can check out the feature response. So we want to focus in on those features that were really important to us. So I want to check out the contract and the tenure. Those were the two most important. So if I look at contract, I can see month to month increases the average prediction quite substantially versus one year or two year. So we can develop strategies off this. We can say, hey, maybe what we should try to do is get people off a of month to month and get them into one year or two year. Um, same thing for tenure. If we look at the tenure plot, what we can see is that if tenure is um, we'll say around 20 months, they have a very low probability of churning. We can see that because this line's pretty low. But uh, if they have been only in, in our program for say like five or six months, you can see that the probability is quite substantial for churn. So what we can do again is develop a strategy off of this. We can say, hey, let's try and get these people into longer term tenures by offering them rewards for sticking around. If you like what you saw today and if you want to learn more from me, definitely check out my free R masterclass. I have 10 secrets to becoming a data scientist. I have a link in the video notes at the end here. Uh, it's this link right here and it'll help you uh, learn the, the 10 most important secrets, what I found beneficial when I was learning. Things like Shiny, things like how to learn, what you need to learn in R, time series, and those sorts of things. So I give you 40 minutes and I consolidate about five years of my learning in that. So definitely check that webinar out and I'll see you on the other side. See you later.